So here's a fun fact. Myself and my husband live in a tiny house. It is uh, technically like an ADU in um, our landlady's yard, I guess, kind of. It's weird because we've got a driveway and a mailbox and that sort of thing. So it feels like our, it's our own house, but it is 325 square feet. It is tiny. Living in a tiny house has taught us so much and we love it, but it does serve as a challenge when you've got two people living in a tiny space and one of those people likes to sew. As you might know, sewing, of course, does take up or can take up a lot of space with all of the things. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys what I do exactly to make sewing work in a tiny space, 325 square feet. Feet? Feet, all of the feet. Anyway, here we go. I'll give you the tour, the grand tour. So I thought I'd give just a brief tour of our space here. Over here, obviously, is the couch, coffee table area. We've got all of my plants, of course. And then our tiny little kitchen. Got my favorite candle going. This is a lagoon from Anthropology. Looking back this way is our little hallway, tiny hallway area to the bedroom. And of course, this little area under the TV. And in here is our little bedroom nook. Barely enough space, honestly, to, you know, walk in this direction. We kind of have to scooch in there when we're making the bed, but still cute. And then going back this way, in here we've got the washer dryer area and where I keep a lot of junk. And our dresser, we managed to fit a dresser in here perfectly. All of my music and everything up there. We've got a lot of vertical storage, thank goodness. And then moving in here to our little bathroom space. This is our back door that leads out to the back courtyard area. And swinging around in here, ta-da, little bathroom. Okay, and headed back into the living room. I'll show you our clothes closet. Yes, is in the kitchen. Um, behind the refrigerator here is where I hide my cello. I am a cellist and that's where I keep that baby. And if I open up my closet, you can see down here is where I hide my sewing machine. So it's in, within reach pretty easily. I can just grab it and put away every night. I've also got a printer right here next to it so I can print out PDF patterns, that sort of a thing. Again, all within reach since we uh, have no place for it anywhere out on any counter space or anything like that. Also in this closet on this side, I do hang up some of my patterns and kind of hide them back in here. These are just some of my basic patterns that I reference pretty often. I do fold up smaller patterns and put them elsewhere, but that's where that is for right now. And headed back this direction in this little cabinet right here on one side. Oops. On one side, we've got our tiny little cordless vacuum that fits perfectly. And on this side is all of my sewing stuff. This right here is a pillowcase I made for a friend recently, and I'm just waiting for the pillow insert to come in the mail. These are my recent fabric uh, purchases from Joann's. I've got a green gauze, a pink knit, and this kind of, I'm going to say it's viscose. I'm not exactly sure. It feels like viscose kind of a daisy print that I'm not honestly sure what I'm gonna do with all of these yet. I'm thinking maybe some pajamas, maybe some sort of summer blouse top sort of a thing. And I think I have enough here for a dress out of this one. So we'll see, but yep, that's where I keep my new purchases. So I've got my sewing basket here and my little projects on top. Uh, I think these are some masks that I was making and ran out of some elastic. So that's that. Looking back this direction behind our bathroom door. Ugh, I forgot to pick this guy up. 
going to go there for now. Behind this door, we've got a secret little cabinet back here. And if I open it up, ta-da, my fabric stashes. Now, these are all masks that I've made recently that my husband and I are not planning on using for right now. We do want to give them away to friends and coworkers and that sort of a thing. They're just made out of all of my scrap fabric. So in here, I've got lots of twill, more scrap fabric. Yeah, lots of muslin, a couple zippers. Here's some the rest of my folded up patterns and that sort of a thing. And then these are um, some more fabric that I'm planning on making a skirt and a blouse out of these two things. And that is honestly it as far as where I store all of my sewing machine stuff. I mean, really just those three places is all. I feel like it kind of tucks away really nicely. I try at the end of every day to put my all of my sewing stuff away. So current projects, I'll just kind of usually stack on top of my sewing basket and then put my sewing machine away. It takes maybe 30 seconds <laughs> the whole thing to put away and get out again so I really don't mind doing it that way I'm not overwhelmed by clutter I tend to be a little bit of a neat freak Ooh, a little bit I mean you kind of have to be when you live in a space this small otherwise it just gets overwhelming really quickly and I always sleep better honestly when everything's put away so that's where I store everything but I'll go ahead and show you too what I do when everything's out where I put it kind of my uh sewing setup in general I do live here with my husband he is not here at the moment it's not ideal always but we're making it work and honestly we love it have to say thank goodness for this table that we've got here. We love that it's built into the wall so that we've got plenty of leg space underneath and it's just big enough to have dinner here. We use it as counter space and right now it is my sewing studio. My sewing machine lives happily right here while I'm sewing. Of course I've got my sewing basket again with most recent projects on top. Back here I usually set my ironing board up just in front of the TV. Now I personally like to watch tv as i sew so i like to have that guy on just to have something to listen to in the background and then i can just kind of hop back and forth between here and the ironing board and it's nice and easy here's another thing i wanted to add in as well living in a tiny space means that for everything that we buy and bring into our house we really have to be intentional about it because it oftentimes means getting rid of something that we already own. Sewing of course is no exception to this even though I could just do it as a hobby. I do always try to make sure that I'm making things that will get use and that is worth taking up space in my house. So it's taught us a really good lesson in that kind of intentionality. That's how we live around here. So there you have it guys. That's kind of my just general setup that I've got here in this tiny space. Um, today my project uh, for the day is to um, do some lesson prep for my sewing lesson that I'm teaching uh, later this week. Anyway, we are on our way with that. I've got some work to do, so I better get to it. Thanks for joining this video and I'll see you guys next time.